just move these out of the way. Let's get to this. Put it. Okay, everybody, this powerhouse of a hybrid camera is the X-H2S. It has a 26 megapixel APS-C extra sensor. That means that it has a 1.5 time crop factor. With the photo size of things, the mechanical shutter has the max shutter speed of one over 8,000 of a second, taking 15 frames per second. But with the electronic shutter, you can take up to 40 frames per second with an astonishing maximum shutter speed of one over 32,000 of a second. Ooh, I didn't even know I need that much of a shutter speed. And the ISO extends up to 51,200. Now what really blows my mind is the video sides of things with this camera. You can actually record internally for 2210 bit H.265 or even ProRes. You have the options to record 6.2K up to 30 frames per second. You can record 4K 120 frames per second and full HD 240 frames per second. Now what you also get with this camera are the latest film simulations and the best part is that you can also use those film simulations in videos. Now if you want more dynamic range on your videos and you like tweaking your colors, you like tuning in with those shadows and those highlights, you get F-Log 2 that gives you high dynamic range and gives you the perfect chance and opportunity to just grade your videos to look as you want them. Now from Fujifilm, you also get the 709 Eternal Lot that helps you color grade your footage. It looks awesome just using plain Eterna. Now, if you look at this camera, it looks pretty basic. For me as an old Canon user, it doesn't bother me that much. I really like the dial on the top and you get seven custom slots. I like how the buttons are lined up on the right side, but there is a negative fact in that they are all lined up like that because sometimes when I'm trying to get a shot or I'm trying to start recording, I accidentally press the ISO button. But that's not an issue for me because I don't shoot anything that goes fast by. Now for an experienced Fujifilm user, this might be a turn off because you've gotten used to those vintage looking cameras. But if you are turning from a different camera to Fujifilm, this is just a perfect fit for you. Now what I also like is the grip right here. It is nice and deep and you get a good hold of it when you're taking pictures or shooting handheld footage. It is awesome. It just fits right in there and feels really good when you're holding it. Now just for the fun of it, behind this door right here, you can see the dual card slots, one for a CF Express Type B and the other slot for an SD card. The other side, you have the USB slot. This camera does not come with a charger that a different kind of charger where you put your batteries in this comes with an USB slot that you plug in straight to the socket it also comes with a mic port with a headphone jack and a HDMI slot let's see what kind of slot it is it is a normal HDMI slot just for everybody to know this is not sponsored by Fujifilm but Fujifilm did not buy or lend me this camera this is not sponsored by any other faction who sells cameras, any store or anything like that. This was bought with my own money. So I'm making a video about it because I bought it with my own money. Now this was just a quick video to check out what the camera looks like, to show you the unboxing. And hopefully in the near future, I will be doing a user experience, not a review, an experience, how it feels to film and make videos with this camera as soon as I just Get to doing videos with it. Hope you like the video. If you want to see more like this or that user experience that I'm gonna do later on, just subscribe, hit the bell icon. I don't know, I'll be seeing you later.